Take a look at this. I was watching a fella on YouTube called Tech with the number 2C, letter C. Uh, and he had built a 3D printer. And it was my understanding that 3D printers were very expensive, needed a lot of tweaking, and uh, didn't necessarily do a, a good print unless they were rather expensive. Well, he purchased this, and I had seen the print, so I knew that it was capable of doing amazing things. <clears throat> Let me tell you real quick what it is. It's a 2016 upgrade quality, high precision, rep wrap, Prusa i3 3D printer. purchased it off of eBay for $175.95. No tax, no shipping. $176, people. And the print quality is phenomenal. Let me show you how it was shipped, and then I'll show you what it can uh, print. Let's get into this. I, th I thought I would just do an unboxing for you before we get into the build. It really came in great shape. I mean, a little dent there, but other than that, the box is not banged up at all. Let's take a look and see what we got. With the modifications that Texas C does, the print quality on this kit is just absolutely incredible. Stepper motors. The frame. I think what I'm holding in my hand is just the small little pieces that came out of the laser cut, all wrapped for protection so that it doesn't get scratched. Very, very nice. Very nice. A cooling fan. It may have an updated uh, cooling system.
this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's put this together. I just wanted to show you some of the geometry that this is able to print. And I also want to tell you, I'm going to be doing a series on um, uh, some marble machines that I've been wanting to make all along. And I've seen a lot of guys making marble machines, and I've been a woodworker, you know, almost my entire life. And I've been watching them, they put their fingers awfully close to uh, spinning saw blades, and it's just dangerous working with those micro parts. And so I've been looking forward to a printer for a while. I just didn't think they were affordable and do a, a decent print for what I wanted. Let me show you what these are capable of doing. Okay. This is printed with a type of plastic called PLA and it was $22 a roll and it weighs 2.2 pounds. Look at the geometry that it was able to print. Just phenomenal. Watch the action. Four doors open. Okay. To give you an idea, you know, some of the questions is uh, how expensive is it to print? It's very inexpensive. Let's see what I came up with on that. This weighs 4.7 ounces, so it cost me $2.91. I would never be able to do that in wood. Very amazing. Uh, all of these items I'm going to be showing you in other episodes on where you can get them just to practice uh, uploading them and printing them. These are off a of Thingiverse. And these are called Nautilus gears. Now look at this. Would you ever believe that that would actually be a gear that operated? Look at that. It actually works. And it doesn't lose its registration. It doesn't skip a tooth. Pretty amazing. Look at that. This is a very fascinating um, print. If I gave you the six pieces, the outer ring and the, the five gears, and I put them in front of you at a table, you could not assemble this. This is really a, a, a marvel of engineering. This is printed in one piece. Uh, the parts are trapped because it's a herringbone uh, pattern on the gears in the outer ring. So you, they don't fit together. It has to be printed layer by layer by layer. And look at this. They spin. Fascinating. Um, the cost of this was uh, one ounce, 62 cents. Amazing. And very smooth. It has a little bit of play, but they're, they're trapped and printed as one piece, layer by layer, not, not assembled. It, it was printed this way. Uh, this bracket is amazing. This is, you can print parts to modify the printer itself, and this is for the uh, Z-axis. For a stop, the next, next two parts are... are for an adjustment on the, on the printer that it didn't need, so I, I just printed it out. But see how it printed where the nuts would be trapped? And, and look at this nut trap. Throw your nut in there and you bring your bolt down through it. Absolutely amazing. Very amazing. And look at this bracket. And then the reinforcement on it. Uh, some might say the print bed on this printer is too small. But remember, if you're assembling something, you use small pieces and you glue or bolt together to make a bigger piece. So most things are made with small pieces. All right.